mm-hmm. so you go into VR and you have a you know an avatar version of the of the AI and you can talk to them there. Um, I think that that's going to be really compelling, right? It's at, at a minimum creating you know much better NPCs and um, and experiences when there isn't like a, another actual person who you want to play a game with. You can just have AIs that are much more realistic and 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 kind of compelling to interact with. Meta has launched a new text to three D generator AI that will transform your workflow. This revolutionary tool lets you create three D models from simple text descriptions in a fraction of the time. Imagine crafting intricate characters, designing stunning environments, or generating unique props, all with just a few words. Meta's Text to 3D is your ultimate companion. Let's delve into its full capabilities. Meta's AI Text to 3D Generator. Meta is known for its constant evolution in the realm of artificial intelligence, particularly with its content tagging system that adapts to new types of content and trends. Beyond these day-to-day applications, Meta's research wing is delving into more groundbreaking areas of AI technology. One of their most innovative developments is an AI tool called Meta 3D Gen. Meta 3D Gen represents a big leap forward in the field of generative AI. This tool is designed to generate 3D assets from text descriptions with a high degree of accuracy as shown by the images on Meta handle on thread. The ability to create 3D models based solely on textual input is a game changer, especially for industries that rely heavily on digital content creation, such as gaming, virtual reality, and film. Meta claims that 3D Gen can produce outputs at speeds three to 60 times faster than professional artists. This remarkable efficiency does not come at the expense of quality. On the contrary, 3D Gen generates assets with high resolution textures and material maps that are superior in quality compared to previous state-of-the-art solutions. This performance boost is achieved at three to 10 times the speed of earlier methods, highlighting the system's huge advancements in both speed and quality. One of the standout features of Meta 3D Gen is its support for physically-based rendering. This is essential for creating 3D objects that look realistic under various lighting conditions as depicted in the example here. This technology simulates the physical properties of materials, allowing the 3D assets generated by Meta 3D Gen to react to light in a way that mimics real-world materials. This means that objects created using this tool can appear hyper-realistic, enhancing the visual experience in any application where they are used. Moreover, Meta 3D Gen is not just about creating new 3D assets from scratch. It is also highly versatile in its ability to retexture existing models. Whether the original model was generated by AI or created by an artist, Meta 3D Gen can apply new textures based on fresh text prompt. This feature allows for a high degree of customization and flexibility, enabling users to alter the appearance of 3D models to fit different themes or requirements without having to rebuild them from the ground up. How it works. Meta's 3D Gen uses a two-stage method that leverages the strengths of two foundational generative models asset gen and texture gen to create high quality 3D models for immersive content. This approach involves a division of labor between the two models, where each focuses on different aspects of the 3D creation process, allowing for enhanced control and refinement, much like the way text to image generators function. The first stage in this process is handled by Meta's asset gen. Asset gen is responsible for generating the 3D geometry of the object. When provided with a prompt, Asset Gen rapidly constructs the basic shape and structure of the object in three dimensions. This initial stage takes only about 30 seconds, during which the model also applies basic textures and physically-based rendering to the 3D object. Once the basic 3D geometry is created by Asset Gen, the process moves to the second stage, where Texture Gen takes over. Texture Gen's role is to refine and enhance the textures applied to the 3D object, ensuring high resolution and detailed surface properties. This optimization process happens swiftly within the next 20 seconds. Texture Gen meticulously works on the textures, improving their quality and making them more realistic and detailed. This stage is crucial because it significantly enhances the visual fidelity of the 3D model making it suitable for immersive content where high quality visuals are essential. The separation of tasks between asset gen and texture gen allows for greater control over the 3D modeling process. 
Users can focus on refining specific aspects of the model independently, similar to how text-to-image generators allow for iterative refinement of generated images. Additionally, users can provide further textual inputs to retexture previously created 3D shapes. This feature is particularly useful for those who need to modify the appearance of an object without starting from scratch. For instance, if a user is satisfied with the shape of a 3D model, but wants to change its texture to fit a different context or aesthetic, they can simply input new textual instructions, and TextureGen will apply the new texture accordingly. This flexibility significantly enhances the usability and adaptability of the 3D Gen system. You can easily make those adjustments without having to redo the entire model from scratch. 3D Gen Generation Process Meta 3D Gen Generation Process involves several sophisticated steps to achieve photorealistic quality, leveraging advanced techniques in computer graphics and machine learning. The first step in Meta 3D Gen's process is generating multiple views of the object. These views are not just simple 2D images, but are enhanced with detailed information about the object's appearance. Specifically, the views include factored shaded appearance and albedo. The shaded appearance refers to how the object looks under different lighting conditions, while albedo represents the inherent color of the object, independent of lighting and shadows. By capturing this information, Meta 3D Gen can accurately represent the object's visual properties from different angles. Next, the system reconstructs key physical attributes of the object, including its colors, metallicity, and roughness in a 3D space. These attributes are crucial for creating realistic models because they affect how the object interacts with light. For instance, metallicity determines how metallic or non-metallic the surface appears, influencing reflections and highlights. Roughness affects the surface texture, dictating how light scatters when it hits the object. To achieve this reconstruction, Meta 3D Gen uses a neural network trained via a method called deferred shading loss. Deferred shading is a technique in computer graphics where the rendering of light and shadow is postponed until after the initial geometry and texture information has been processed. By applying a deferred shading loss, the network learns to accurately recreate the object's appearance in 3D by comparing its predictions to the target appearance under various lighting conditions. This approach ensures that the reconstructed model maintains high fidelity to the original object. A critical output of this reconstruction process is the sine distance function. A sine distance function provides a mathematical representation of the object's surface by indicating the distance of any point in space to the closest point on the object's surface. From this function, a 3D mesh can be extracted. The mesh represents the object's geometry as a network of vertices, edges, and faces, forming a detailed structure that can be rendered in 3D space. After the mesh is created, a final texture refinement step is performed in the UV space. UV space refers to a 2D representation of the 3D surface used for texture mapping. This process involves unwrapping the 3D model onto a 2D plane where textures can be applied more efficiently. The texture refinement step significantly enhances the sharpness and detail of the model by fine-tuning the textures mapped onto the 3D surface. This step ensures that even the smallest details are accurately represented, resulting in a highly realistic and visually appealing final model. Potential Application the implications of this technology are vast. For instance, in the gaming industry, developers can use Meta 3D Gen to quickly generate a wide variety of assets, reducing the time and cost associated with manual 3D modeling. Similarly, in virtual reality, where the creation of immersive environments is key, this tool can expedite the process of populating these virtual spaces with detailed and realistic objects. In film and animation, Artists can leverage Meta 3D Gen to produce detailed props and environments more efficiently, allowing them to focus more on creative storytelling. Additionally, the ability to generate and retexture 3D models based on text descriptions makes this tool accessible to users who may not have extensive experience in 3D modeling. By lowering the barrier to entry, Meta 3D Gen democratizes the creation of high-quality 3D content enabling more people to participate in the production of digital assets. Beyond its immediate applications, Meta 3D Gen also opens up new possibilities for future innovations. 
As AI continues to improve, it could potentially generate even more complex and detailed models, further pushing the boundaries of what is possible in digital content creation. Moreover, the integration of this technology with other AI-driven tools and platforms could lead to even more sophisticated and automated workflows, transforming the way industries approach 3D modeling and rendering. The Future of 3D Generator one of the big issues in 3D generation is creating models that look convincing in both virtual reality and real-world applications. This difficulty arises because VR environments are particularly unforgiving when it comes to artificial detailing. In VR, users can view objects up close and from multiple angles, making any imperfections or lack of detail immediately noticeable. To create a believable experience, it is crucial to have as much detail as possible in the actual geometry of the models, rather than relying solely on textures. Currently, many AI models that generate 3D content tend to produce low-resolution geometry and rely heavily on textures to approximate details. This approach can work for certain applications where the models are not examined too closely. However, in VR, this method falls short because textures alone cannot provide the depth and realism needed when users can scrutinize every aspect of the environment. Meta company known for its advancements in AI and large language models like the recent Llama 3 is addressing this challenge with its tool Meta 3 DGen. Meta 3 DGen aims to create more sophisticated 3D models that can meet the high standards required for VR and real world applications. One of the main obstacles in this field is the limited availability of high quality 3D datasets for training AI models. Unlike images and videos, which are abundant and easily accessible, 3D data is much scarcer and more complex to work with. Despite these challenges, the examples provided by Meta 3D Gen are remarkably promising. The tool leverages Meta's expertise in AI to push the boundaries of what is possible in 3D generation. By focusing on enhancing the actual geometry of the models, Meta 3D Gen can produce more detailed and realistic outputs. Meta is setting a new standard for 3D generation in both VR and real-world applications. The advancements made by Meta in the 3D generation space have broader implications for the industry. As tools like Meta 3D Gen become more sophisticated, they will enable creators and developers to produce higher quality content, more immersive VR experiences, and more realistic 3D models in various applications. From gaming and entertainment, to design and architecture. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.